Hey, welcome back. Good to see you. Okay. Is that how we're doing? I feel so I feel so privileged to be here to be here with the chairs that make things happen in this building. And it's a particular privilege with father and daughters that none of you are men. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, we're gathered together to take care of a pretty simple item, and I want to thank you, the four of you, for your support of this, because it's tremendously important. For the first day in a long time, it feels like winter time in Vermont, which reminds us of why this is so important. Um, as you know, with your help, and thanks for your help, announcing this and making it work, deeply grateful to you, and I acknowledge Judge Stalin, the Secretary of Administration, who's worked day and night on this one, along with Jim Weir and our team on the Joint Fiscal Team. Welcome back, Steve Klein. Uh, but as you know, uh, Congress didn't appropriate as much as we wish they had for the LIHEAP program. Vermonters are too good to turn in the neighbors to let people freeze this winter. All this does is allocate $6.1 million, $5 million from the reserves, roughly $5 million from the reserves that we put aside in anticipation of federal cuts when you went home last spring, and roughly a million and a half that we're going to pay back to the weatherization program that we borrowed in order to make the first time. Well, a lot of folks have asked, does that mean that weatherization will be out of money? And the answer is no, we would never do that. They, in fact, will anticipate having $500,000 of carry forward money or surplus money at the end of the year. So they're in good shape. So I can't tell you how many grateful I've talked to since you all helped us take this action in the last few days, and I'm sure you have too. You say, I just didn't know what I was going to do to keep my house warm. This is making a real difference. Any discussion of the motion of thoughts? No, I just want to say that I spent an hour yesterday meeting with my constituent, and I just want I just want to add to that as you raise something important. I think there's a general impression that we're not making people whole. It's important to know that this actually represents an 8% increase over last year's total allocation to recipients. But it's important also to note that with the rising price of fuel, factored in with what the best forecasts are on a warm winter, uh, we think it's going to take an extra 8% to make people even with where they were last year. So. It's important we get out the message. We're sending actually more dollars than we got last year. We're going to buy somewhat less, but you should keep the house warm. Stay healthy. I, the other part, which I think is important too, is that this um, action will allow us to do a consolidated benefit. So it allows people to plan and you know, to really figure out how to address their fuel needs. So rather than sequential payments, I think there is a lot of information. Good point. Echo a little bit. I think I've spoken to the same constituent, and it is very scary. And I guess I'm really glad that we're doing what we're doing. I really wish we could do This is it's just very frightening. So, any other discussion, thoughts? Do you want to talk about the fact that we're going to ask the it's very a good point. I mean, as Chairwoman Heath mentions, uh, we have jointly asked the agency to work together uh, to figure out ways to uh, find efficiencies in the program, look at benefit levels, and see how we can. Because there's no way that we will stay here wrong historical 
the perspective of this, this program was authorized in 1981. So this is the 30th year, and essentially this is the benefit and program design that was put in place um, with some modifications and, um, um, back in 30 years ago. So I think, um, um, like anything um, we're doing, sometimes fiscal imperative does um, end up in doing some constructive things. So I, I think this examination program is going to all the aspects of it. Probably, um, probably time to do that. So this motion uh, makes three, there are three parts to this motion, A, B, and C, C being the part that I'm sorry, he just made reference to. Is there a motion to move the motion as written? Second. Moved by Representative Heath? I'll second. Seconded by Senator Kitchen. Any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Gets unanimous. Thank you. Any other items to take back before the emergency board? This is it. We meet again in January. In January. We'll be back together. This is it for today. Thank you so much. Great to have you back. Keep up the good work. Appreciate your help.